Aha, there you all are. A very, very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform with one hour, one hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment for not just one nation, but for all nations globally throughout the world. Welcome, 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 I say, to the Scotty McClue Talk Show. You get yourselves on there, and of course, let's see what you've got for me. You make your comments. I read them out, we discuss them. That's what the show's about. It's a true Facebook Live program. And it's all for every single one of you. Dinky doo from me, Scotty McClue. Lovely to see you all arriving, of course. Tremendous stuff. And we'll let the audience build up and we can get stuck into discussion now. Remember, we're only here for one hour, one hour only of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment for a grateful nation and uh, for several grateful nations. Uh, good evening. Hi, Scotty. Long time no see. Hope you're well. Hello from Benidorm. Excellent stuff. I think I've seen you on the telly. Dinky do, Scotty, says Alfred James Wright. Lorna says, hello, Scotty, from Killytoon. That's Kilmarnock in Scotland. Good evening, Sir Scotty, says Neil O'Gormley. Good evening to you, Neil. Dinky do to you, says Hedley McCarthy. And, of course, dinky do to you, Hedley. Jim McGarry, good evening, Scotty. How's your weekend, Scotty, says Thomas Hamilton. Excellent, Thomas. A fine, fine weekend. Weather not so good. Evening, McClure, says Alan Cadden. Evening to you, Alan Cadden. Lovely to have you with us tonight. Now, let's see how many people we're prevented from uh, seeing us tonight. See if we can get sharing and sharing and sharing. There's a lovely, lovely treble clef from Mark Gippert tonight. Gippert or Gippert, Mark? You'll have to tell me. Hi, Scotty. You're in time the night, says Sandy Howden. Yes, indeed you are, Sandy. Well done. And uh, Dinky Doo says, Catherine, hello, Catherine. How are we tonight? It's Scotty McClue, just talking away to you, and we're live on Facebook Live. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, says Chris Kelly. Of course, absolutely tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. And tell 100 to tell 100, and 1,000 to tell 1,000. Good evening, Scotty, from Inverness. Yes, says Alan Morrison from Sineke, from Inverness, an Invernesian. That's lovely, that. And uh, good evening from James and Lindsay at the Taxi Owners Association. The taxis, TOA taxis, East Coast Bride, James Bauer there, always with us. Lovely to have you with us, James. And fit like you lovable rogue, says David Moore Morris. I fit like yourself. I'll tell you this, Loon. You're watching one of the world's top programs right now in front of your eyes. Fit about that. Uh, so there we are. Go, Lord. Sorry, late. Dinky doo, says Robert Devlin. You're never too late to join Scotty McClure. Robert, lovely to have you with us. Scotty, I don't see why we as a country seem to think that free education should stop at secondary school. Why are England continuing not only to charge, but raise the fees for university students, says Richard Mackay. And it says see more, but I don't risk seeing more Richard Mackay because one night I lost the whole broadcast by clicking see more because these tiny devices that we all got used to these days are so small. Uh, that's the whole thing. Good afternoon, my friends, says Teresa Tennant. So I would imagine Teresa is uh, watching somewhere else round the world. Tell us where you're watching. Gordon Roddick. Hi, Scotty. Good to hear you again. Always good to hear from you, Gordon. One of the greats. You are a great role model of mine. I hope that doesn't embarrass you. But Gordon Roddick, one of the finest announcers that Scotland has ever had on television. So there you are. Hello, Scotty. Nice to see you, says Anne-Marie Crone. Hello, Anne-Marie Crone. Lovely to be with you. Natasha Jane, good evening, Scotty. Olivia and I are watching again this week. So you should be. Excellent stuff. Can't see you, Scotty. Not that I'm complaining, says Ronnie Stevenson. I can't see you either, Ronnie Stevenson. Not that I'm complaining. Uh, although it would be nice to see you. Uh, so you never fell off a cliff then, says Paul Kerr. No, Paul, you thought, because I disappeared off the radio in Scotland, you thought, well, that's it, the big man's away. I went down to Manchester, I went to Sheffield, I went to London, I went out to Newcastle, I went out to the Midlands, to Birmingham and to Nottingham and all the rest of it. So, and to Wales and to Northern Ireland. So everybody's heard of Scotty McClue in uh, the UK. What's the topic tonight, says Robert Devlin. We have so many topics tonight, as always, Robert. But if you want to set the agenda, <coughs> I would be quite happy to do that. 
Thank you do, Scotty, says Stephen Wearmouth. Thank you do, Stephen. Lovely to have you with us. Do you know, one thing I wish people would stop doing is suggesting that Catholics and Protestants are a different religion. They are the same religion. They are one and the same. Have you got that? So there we are. Hey, says John Ryan Feherty. Hey, John Ryan. Love your tie, Scotty. It's gold monkeys, you see. I was born in the year of the monkey, the Chinese New Year of the monkey. So that's a gold monkey. And they're all hanging on to each other's tails, supporting each other. Wish my pal Alfie Wright a quick return to Tyne Castle, Scotty, says Sandy Howden. Absolutely, Sandy. We wish everybody a quick return to Tyne Castle if they are Tyne Castle orientated. That's their story, and that's their song. So there we are. Portholes, there's an agenda. Um, oh, sorry, potholes. I thought you said portholes. I thought, what on earth is an agenda about portholes if you're not on a ship? But potholes, yes. Did you see the wonderful truck that I uh, reposted on Facebook earlier? It comes along, it cuts out the tarmac, sucks up all the old bits and pieces, and then cuts a shape and puts in uh, a ready-placed patch on the road, smooths it all over and drives on. Fantastic thing. It's Boris lovable, says David Mo Morris. And um, I've kind of gone off Boris, actually. So there you are, because for me, the Foreign Secretary of the United Kingdom is a very, very, very heavyweight, very serious job. And nobody doubts Boris's high intelligence and nobody doubts his ability. But all I'm saying is Foreign Secretary Alec Douglas Hume, an example, not the finest Prime Minister, but an excellent Foreign Secretary dealing with both Khrushchev and Kennedy. Um, out of almost 400 people who are around 340 folk voted saying the pensioner who killed a burglar during the week should be let off. Do you agree? Now, that is a big one. I don't want to discuss that particular case, but I'd be quite happy. Well, a happy is probably the wrong word, but I would be willing to discuss in general what uh, force um, should be allowed and acceptable if somebody's burgling your house and scaring the wits out of you, and if it's your life or theirs. Uh, anyone else getting a blank screen? I sincerely hope not. Uh, perhaps you should put your monitor on. Um, Scotty, it's not about is it not about high time we encourage our kids to use the green spaces around their homes? Get the signs away, the jerseys down in the footballs, cricket, tennis, whatever. Yes, I think we should speak to, not that I think they would do it, but I think we should speak to the phone companies and say, can you put everybody's phone off during school hours except for emergency calls? And could you off, also put them off, say, between, I don't know, 7 and 9 in the evening, except for emergency or prearranged calls, and they can go out playing football? How are you doing, Scotty boy? A big hiya fi aloha. I hope you're well, says Alan. Very well, Alan. Lovely to hear you. Fantastic idea, Scotty. Our council needs to bride. We need a replacement, as it's full of these horrible things, a total mess. So there we are now. Who is an expert on potholes? Who can tell me what causes them? Is it poor maintenance? Is it all the salt and chemicals on the road in the winter? Is it water getting into the cracks and expanding when it freezes as ice and packing snow, etc., etc.? Do tell. I see the Russian spy and his daughter are getting well again, Scotty. Something funny going on there, I think. Well, somebody was hinting earlier about what? He was actually investigating, allegedly. So there we are. Or oh, the plastic recycling video. That lasts a long time. The plastic stuff lasts longer than the time. Yes, I'm very, very big on this. I got very, very excited when I found we could find a recycling use for plastic. Uh, I can't hear you, Scotty. I can see the messages. But the screen is black. Can everybody else see Scotty McClure right now? Do tell. I can't see anything, says VJ Dukram. Hey, how are you? Good evening, Scotty. Dinky doo. Hi, Scotty. I'm dead from drinking whiskey yesterday on a charity evening. Michael Yule, a charity evening. You're not meant to be drinking whiskey all the time. You're meant to be giving to charity. 
A Novi Jock or a conspiracy, says David Mummers. Well, who knows, David? We don't actually know, although conspiracy theorists, you've got to keep an eye on them. Hi, Scotty from East Bride. I agree, Karen, says James. It's the salt, Scotty, that does it. I can see you, Scotty, says Stephen Wearmouth. Uh, about the burglary issue, you said yourself, your life or theirs. Oh, absolutely, if it's someone else's life or mine and they are a burglar, then I'm sorry, but there we go. You know, it's uh, it's a no-brainer, that one. Uh, cheap council tar, says Rab Hill. So there we are. So true, Jim Bull, says Karen Reynolds. I can see you, says John Ryan Ferty. Lovely, lovely John Ryan. Uh, what do you think of the figures released about the truthfulness of the political parties at Holyrood, says Alan Cadden. Well, the ministerial code, you can't mislead parliament. You can mislead the house. So it's all there, guys. So it's uh, it's clean black and white. There's a cracking documentary on the BBC the other week about a new idea for roads. Yes, I'm up for this sort of thing, McClure is a visionary, as you well know, an IQ of 164. I'm not boasting, I'm just stating that's what it is, because I didn't choose my being, so I have nothing to boast about. All I can say is IQ of 164, visionary, hook the two up, let's make things happen. So there you are. Have you watched the Masters the past few days of Robert Devlin? I haven't had a chance, Robert. I have to say, I can see you no problem. I'm here in Newton, Newton Mearns, says Jack Patterson, a very fine part of the world. Jack Patterson, and lovely to hear from you, and it was marvellous to meet you officially. So there we are. Uh, see you, says David Momaris. Good stuff. Someone told me ages ago that the potholes are caused by water expanding in the cracks. Now that would make absolute sense, I have to say. Evening Scotty, can you say hello to the, all the railway guys out there working over the weekend on the Schott's electrification work, says Stephen Menzies. Wonderful Stephen. I can actually go back to when uh, the first diesels came in to replace the steam trains. We, we travelled by steam train, and I think it was 1965. Would that be right? And then the diesels came on. And they weren't terribly exciting, but I do love big diesel engines. And they were all slung below there. The actual big diesel was slung below. I don't know what make they were. I don't know if they were gardeners or not. Although the gardener would have done a fine job, I have no doubt. And they had a gearbox. You could hear them changing gear. And then electrification came. Fantastic. I can see you, Scotty, from Glasgow, says Thomas Hamilton. Scotty, German roads are the best. So there we are. Always remember a policeman saying, if you catch a burglar, kick the hell out of him and put him at the bottom of your stairs. And then the police come and collect them. Uh, that's not my advice, by the way, folks. Just just letting you know. Uh, evening, Scotty. Evening. Hiya, Scotty. This is Lorna Smedley Hardy. Lovely to have you with us. Gordon Stilling's watching, and he should be coming on. I want to hear about the red double-deck bus, the decker, as they call them. Smashing pick of your mum and dad, loved the one of your dad in his full kilt. That was that, the Fusilier's kilt, says Robert Devlin. No, Robert, believe it or not, my father was an Argyle man, but he ended up in the Queen's own Cameron Highlanders. I think they used to swap them about depending on who was who, and apparently it was quite amusing, if you're amused by this sort of thing, that they all had to learn what their pipe tune was, the regimental march, and they were to march off with it. But if somebody turned the wrong way and marched off, apparently they could end up in the wrong regiment. So there you are. But uh, yeah, that's mum and dad. They were, they were a lovely, lovely couple, and they were lovely, lovely people. They really were. I was very lucky. Have you ever went our way? Your socks on the wrong feet, uh, neck, with with a red neck. Have you ever went your way, went away, I think he means. He's maybe using that predictive text. Now, how do you get rid of that? Because that's driving me up the wall. It's changing every word I'm writing to people. Gordon Sterling, sorry I'm late, Scotty. Have I missed anything? You have missed stacks and stacks and stacks, Gordon Sterling. And you've also missed... A, a reference to your good self and the Deckers, as they call them. There you are. Scotty, if you were in charge of BBC Scotland, what would you do to rebuild the viewing and listening base? 
I think I might put myself on mid-morning on Radio Scotland, and I think I also might, or in the afternoon on Radio Scotland, so there we are, uh, the McClue's Lounge in the afternoon, and I think I might also put myself on for half an hour on a Friday night on BBC Scotland television. So there we are, and have the phones opened up so you could make your comment. I remember writing to one of the top people at the BBC and said, why don't you have a program that allows people to feed back and get rid of all their angst and their bile? And he wrote back and said, well, we've got points of view. <laughs> Should Mrs. May, I missed that. Uh, shoot out, shout out to me, Scotty. Jonathan Scott Donegan. Dinky do to you, Jonathan Scott Donegan. A big shout out to you. But I would also obviously want to get the administration right for the BBC and make sure that we were orientating a lot of stuff towards Scotland big style. So it weren't regarded as a branch office of Broadcasting House in London, and I would make sure that the coverage for the Scottish Parliament and the Scottish Government was absolutely right up to the limit, so that everybody knew the wonderful stuff that the Scottish Government are doing. So there we are. And uh, can you not, can you get rid of that text in the settings? says Jonathan Scott Donegan. Oh yes, the predictive text. I'll check the settings. Which settings is it? Not obviously not the Facebook settings. It must be for the device. Uh, Tony Mac, sorry I haven't been on for a bit. What's up for discussion tonight? We're having a look at potholes tonight, Tony Mac. We're discussing that. Uh, Scotty, do you do FaceTime? Says Thomas Hamilton. No. I've heard all about FaceTime. What exactly is involved in it? I don't have the messenger on in this particular device simply because it uh, shuts off the broadcast when someone comes on. So there you are. But uh, FaceTime, tell me more about it. And uh, cheers, you've made my night, says Jonathan Scott Donegan. Well, you've made our night, Jonathan Scott Donegan, you see. Action equals reaction, the first law of physics. Action equals reaction. So if I'm leaning on a wall, that wall is leaning back at me with the same force. So there you go. Action equals reaction, right? Acceleration 10 meters per second per second. All these wonderful laws of physics. So there we are. Newton's third law. You know, what goes up must come down. All that sort of stuff. Uh, so there we go. So it's equal stuff on here. It's even Stevens, as they say. Although this is called the Scotty McClue Show, it's a show for everyone on Facebook Live. Uh, you're a legend, McClue. Uh, I, in the settings, it's under type settings on the tablet, under predictive text, just switch it off, says Jonathan Scott Duncan. I think I'll be doing that because it's been driving me up the wall and I've had to keep going back. Scotty, why are there no potholes in the cycle lanes? They do not pay tax. Sandy Howden, a pothole for a cyclist is a very, very, very dangerous thing. It's not in any way a safe thing for your average motorist, and it can cause terrific damage to your car, to the springs, to the shock absorbers, to the exhaust. And a lot of the smaller cars are very, very near the road. Have you noticed anybody at the supermarket? One night, I'm sitting at the supermarket parked up, waiting for herself to come running out. And um, I heard this terrific grating noise. Well, what on earth's that? And a guy had swung in, in a big luxury car. I won't mention the make of it. Huge luxury car, obviously he's Daz, right? And he's out with it, maybe about 18. So he's out with probably about, I don't know, 75,000 pounds worth of motor car. And what he'd done was he'd, He'd smashed the whole front spoiler on the curb. It just gave in. And he got out and put it in, away in the boot. Now, he was going to have to go back and face his old boy. Dad, could I um, have a word with you? Should I maybe leave it and maybe hope he doesn't notice? Uh, Rain Town, Saturday the 28th of April in Oran Moor. If you like a bit of country music, that's the place to be, says James Bauer. Good plug, James. Well done for old McClue not noticing. So there you are. Excellent stuff. 
FaceTime is the Apple version of Skype. Far better, says Alan Gadden. So what do I need to FaceTime you then? Uh, you know, that's what I need to work out. Um, I've hit so many potholes. It makes me wonder, does the road tax actually go in the upkeep of the roads like it's meant to? Well, Tony, in fairness, would have very, 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 very severe winter this year. You know, we really did. Willie Kay is watching. He should be on. Come on, Willie. Uh, Ian Sergigil, the A9 going north, ridiculous with potholes. I'm guessing it's the amount of salt and brine they're using. As if the road isn't bad enough. Ian Sergigil, you do not know you are born la. Scotty McClure can go back to the days of the old A9. So there you are. Uh, the B87 was fitted with 112 brake horsepower. The Gardner six-cylinder, uh, or the B87. So there we are, Gardner six-cylinder, LW diesel engine. Now, the B87, Gordon Sterling, forgive my ignorance, you should be used to it by now. Are we talking a diesel train? So there we are, 112 brake horse, at 112 BHP, a Gardner six-cylinder LW. Lovely boom 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 right enough of that an Apple computer or an iPhone says Alan Cadden what are you telling me an Apple computer was that for FaceTiming or what's what Phil Symes watching Dinky Doo come on Phil on you come less of the old McClure it's young McClure says Robert Devlin Robert Devlin you are far too kind Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster and first lord of the internet. Uh, so there we are. Uh, four forward speed, constant mesh, a John Brown gearbox, Gordon Stilling. Fantastic. Gordon Stilling, you'll never believe what happened here. This was amazing. When I was broadcasting in Yorkshire, see you on, says Thomas Hamilton. Uh, East Kilbride this year has been dreadful with potholes. They resurfaced most main roads last year, but it's not what. The council uh, seem to be using a cheap option, question mark. Well, we would need to check that. We do not know that for sure. Uh, yes, for FaceTime, says Alan Ken. Ah, right. Uh, B87 is the old central SMT bus on my Facebook. Ah, yes. Now, Western SMT, when I was a young boy going to Greenock, Inch Green Depot, they used to pull out of there. Fantastic stuff. And SMT was the Scottish Motor Traction Company. Is that correct? Uh, bring them on. Bring them on camera, says Robert McHardy, of course. Uh, good evening, D. Gourlay says. And two lovely wee kisses. Mm, lovely wee kisses to you, D. Gourlay. And thank you very much for joining us. You're watching Scotty McClue, guys. I forget we're all so familiar with each other. We forget that we've got a massive audience come joining us wondering what on earth is this? Who's the geezer, they'll be saying. Who is the geezer? So there you are. Like a guy in America said, is this roster for real? Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, first lord of the internet, just for you, saying dinky-doo. Time has been flying so fast we've missed a share. So can you share, 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 share as quick as you can. Glasgow Black Taxi Drivers are fed up with potholes on the motorway. Watching live from Bonnie Montrose and Angus. Wi-Fi a bit if he hence my lateness, says Robert McHardy. But Robert, the point is that you are here now, and that is more than fantabulous, tremendous. So there you are. And we think that the algorithm has been stopping a lot of people from seeing Scotty McClue. I've, I've, I've written to a couple of people on Facebook saying, can we actually uh, de-restrict? So fantastic, because everybody wants to see this program. And it is high value, what you call high value, high quality content. So there you are. Have you written any books, Scotty? If so, what titles do they have? Uh, Grandad was a train driver, Scotty, so steam weir mouth. Uh, drove the Flying Scotsman, the Coronation and the Mallard. Drove diesels and ended up with an irregular heartbeat and got shoved onto freight. Well, there you are. But what a wonderful thing to do to drive the old Flying Scotsman. Poo uh, yes, I've written a book. Um, you'll see chapter one, Alfred James Wright, Deliver Us From Evil. Go on to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel and type into Deliver Us From Evil and I'll be reading the first chapter of my book. Did you see the guy posing as a consult missed that? The roads and five for a disgrace. Uh, I, took, I would have taken the rest of the spoiler off 
and smacked him in the head with the rest of the strap hill. Poor boy. Imagine him da 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 I need to speak to you about the car. Oh Shared Scotty, says John Finlay, Shared Scotty, says Deb and Davy Crombie. And a week to you guys as well, of course, tremendous. Suzanne Brooks says hello. Hello, Suzanne Brooks. Right, guys, get sharing. Tell everybody, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty McClue is live on Facebook Live just for you, saying Dinky Doo. Shall I sit back a bit? I'm always frightened because I'm a radio man. I'm sure you guys are very, very kind of you to put up with my pus. My pus, the fasog. I tell you that. Hello, Suzanne Brooks. Lovely to have you. You look like a president says Anrud Singh. Anrud Singh, lovely to have you with us. Where are you watching from? Thank you very much for that. I think I will have to do one of these high-powered jobs. Uh, I had some young people telling me recently, they said, sir, you are a world leader. I said, thank you. So there you are. And they said, in a nice way. And I said, thank you. So there you are. Um, bring them on. Come on, David McGurr's there. Lovely to have you, David McGurr. On you come. Never, ever, ever be feared to come on Scotty McClure's programme because this programme is for you. What I'm actually angling at, guys, if any of you have any contacts, half an hour on a Friday night on a television network, right? I phoned a guy in London, one of the main people, got through to him right away. I said, it's Scotty McClure. He said, hello, Scotty. How are you? And I said, can I go on your television station? He went, no. I said, why not? He said, because you have a Scottish accent. Now, do you not think that folk would understand me south of the border? Because they always have done over the last 40 years. When I worked in ITV, when I worked for all the different radio stations, in Manchester, in Sheffield, in Liverpool, in Birmingham, in London, Nottingham, you know, in the Midlands, all that. So there you go. Hello, Dinky Doo. Say hi to my fiancée, Kerry Stevens, says David McGurr. Absolutely, David. I will indeed. You have a lovely pass, says Rab Hill. Thank you, Rab. I think you're one of the few. So there you are. Never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by the many to the few. Why do the council take a long time to fix a pothole once it's reported? They only do anything about it if someone makes a claim. I know this from experience, <coughs> says Tony Mack. Henry Newton, Dinky Doo. Jav Salim, good evening, Scotty, Dinky Doo, Jav. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Getting video sorted to DVD tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll see you and give you a copy, says Rob Deborah. Thanks, Rob, Dinky Doo. Uh, marvelous stuff. Ned Murphy is watching. John Stewart, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. Andy Simpson, how are you? Lovely to have you with us. If you'll forgive me, folks, I'm just going to have a sip of tea. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's lush. Hi, Scotty, says Yvonne McHugh. I'm from Glasgow. It's great to have you. Missed you very much. Yvonne McHugh, thank you. It's when the people thought I'd either popped my clogs or because you're not on a Scottish radio station, they thought he's obviously uh, finished now with all that. Of course, I was away doing huge things uh, throughout the United Kingdom. Have you thought about entering the world of podcasting, says David McGurn. Now, David McGurn, What's the difference between podcasting and what I put up here tonight? And we'll go on to um, YouTube. So there we go. Uh, potholes only get sorted when a local councillor complains, says Robert. So there we are. Scotty, one of my favourite points is McGonigal. Can you give us a rendition of one? They're very, very funny. I could give you a McGonigal. Oh, silvery tea. So there we are. I think I've got my gonna go book handy. I understand, as says Rab Hill. What are you on about, Rab? Can you say hi to my girlfriend, Jane, please, says John Ryan Ferdy. Hello, Jane. Dink you do. From all of us here at Scotty McClue. Uh, wonderful stuff. Hi, Jane, please, says Andy Seeger. Scotty, great to hear and see you again after listening to you on Century 105, back in what must have been 1997-98. Mark Doran, I had um, one of the uh, senior staff from Century 105 on to me yesterday, inviting me to a 20th reunion of Century Radio. 20 years. Where's that 20 years gone? It could have been yesterday. Scotty, you share a great face for radio like myself. 
We're Radio Brothers together. We need you back on Scottish radio, says Tony Mac. Tony Mac, I am talking to very, very senior people. I can give nothing away. I cannot crack a light. I cannot tip you a wink. I cannot give you the nod. But I'm talking to very, very senior people, so you may well hear old McClue back on the radio very, very soon. Sooner rather than later. Hopefully there's no swally in that cup, McClue. No, 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 no. I have the black currant juice. Mm. Oh, lovely, lovely. So there we are. Why don't you do two or three shows a week on here, Scotty, says Stephen Weirmouth. Stephen, I'll tell you the problem. Millions have actually seen this program since it started about a year and a half ago. But the problem is you'll notice that the figures um, get sort of restricted yeah, so there are. How many years are you old? You live long, says Anara Singh. Anara Singh, how old do you think I am? Because I don't feel terribly old, I have to say. Would you consider doing the Celebrity Jungle programs, says Lorna Meikle? Yes, I nearly got right into the final of Big Brother. I went down to um, Arsenal's stadium, the Emirates Stadium in London, and I walked into dish and the lady said, Excuse, can I help you, sir? Sorry, excuse me a minute. Can I help you, sir? And I said, uh, yes, I'd like to audition for Big Brother, if I if I may. And she said, oh, you certainly may. And she went and got a friend. She went, you want to see this guy that's just walked in? So that was that. It was amazing. And then they came and interviewed and everything, because a lot of young people for that. Yo, Scotty, not heard from you in years. Used to love your radio shows in Manchester, says John Brown. John Brown, hopefully we'll get back in touch with you. We only need one switched on programmer one who's smart enough to get a big audience and have scotty mcclue on because there's nothing for these programmers to fear from scotty mcclue they go oh he's outrageous people would complain but in actual fact i've had one complaint upheld and forty thousand hours of live unscripted radio broadcasting one complaint been plenty of complaints but only one stood up and even that was Pretty, pretty iffy, I would have said. Can you please say a happy 100th birthday to the RAF? But th for them, we could all have been speaking German. Well, Alfred James Wright, ich bin ein Auslander, nicht verstehen. So there we are. Um, nicht, nicht tausche sprechen, ich bin ein Auslander, nicht verstehen. But uh, I have to say, the RAF, it was actually started by a Scot, um, dear old Trenchard, um, he got the uh, he got the uh, accolades for it, but it was a Scot that started it. So look into that wonderful stuff, and uh, fix your light shade behind you. Squint, says Shannon Holmes. Uh, you look thirty-five to me, Scotty. You're a wee sweetheart. You're just about right there, Rab. Hang on, I better sort this for this lady. She's obviously a bit of a a fat spot. Oh. <laughs> just as well she's not staying in the house you want to see the rest of the place have you eaten all your easter eggs says robert devlin and the last two wee chocolate eggs just before i came on and um, so there you go eggs and stuff <coughs> shared scotty love your shows yeah it's time for another share guys believe it or not time for another share i must join in the share let me just sit you there for a second so that i can see if i can get uh sharing and i shall uh I shall share as well. Last week's show, I was all dressed up. But as I say, you must all share and share and share during the week, guys, so that it gets out there. I actually put out to see, Scotty, who's the most memorable Ned who ever called you? <laughs> well, do not remember our um, wonderful Viking? McClure, it's the Viking. I'll run you through. Do not remember the Viking? He used to come on. I actually met a very respectable man. And we had lots and lots of Neds. Argy-bargy, all that sort of stuff. I remember one night having a, a communist on. A communist. And I actually stood up to the microphone to stand up to him. Lol, I'm OCD, Scotty. Yes, I would pat you out the house for that. Lol, have a good show. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Sharon Holmes. Mm -hmm. There we are. I put my hand between us so that you don't catch anything if you're OCD. Oh, I hope that was all right there that week. Uh, what I will say to you is it's very interesting how the ladies own things. And they tend to own 
things that are clean. Now, guys, you'll all understand exactly where I'm coming from here, right? You go into the house and she says, Oh, watch, take your feet, your, your shoes off, my clean, my, cl my clean floor. Oh, watch, wash your hands properly. My towels, my towels are just clean. Watch, take a plate, watch my carpet. Crumbs, don't drop crumbs. All that. Now, then something happens like a bulb blows in the attic. And she says, I see your bulb's gone out upstairs, so you'll need to change that. You want me to go to the garden and get one of your lettuces? <laughs> so there you are. The barbarian. Yes, the barbarian.